speaking of ridiculous and hilarious, we have Chris Christie. You know, I call him the Cape May Orca because the Cape Cod Orca passed away, and I decided in deference to Ted Kennedy not to call him the Cape Cod Orca anymore. In fact, they rarely ever talk about him. But we have the Cape May Orca. Now, why do I call him the Cape May Orca? Is it because he's about 700 pounds? No. You remember when everybody was told to stay off the beaches? You remember that, Mr. Producer? Stay off the New Jersey beaches. And then somebody was flying a plane or a helicopter, and guess what they saw? They thought it was a sperm whale. But it wasn't a sperm whale. They looked a little bit more closely. They moved in for the look. They took a picture, a video, and there it was, the governor of New Jersey. First, they thought it was a sperm whale. It's the governor of New Jersey and the family, the little tykes right behind and the missus. They were the only ones on the beach. How could you miss them? Well, you couldn't. And so the Cape May Orca got his name from me. Uh, and uh, he wants to be president. Now, what does he stand for? What has he done that's so profound and so important? What does he bring to the table other than uh, bring your own food? Really nothing. He doesn't bring anything to the table. He is a bully. He is a blowhard. Uh, he is a rhino. And he's worse than that. He's disloyal. He comes in and out of Trump's camp. Then he writes a book in which he talks about conversations he had with people privately. Um, and he's using this book as a foundation to project his ideology. And what is his ideology? Well, nobody's exactly sure. The, the purpose of the book, of course, is to position himself on a new Republican Party, that the Republican Party should follow his lead. Uh, and he's been all over the media. Here's an example. This is MSLSD. Go. If you are an author about to publish a book, I highly recommend hiring the people doing publicity for Chris Christie. The former New Jersey governor got an incredible amount of media attention over the past few weeks, speaking to nearly every network about his new book on, quote, rescuing the Republican Party. Chris Christie is calling on the GOP to get its act together. <laughs> I love the, the title of your book, Chris Christie, Republican Rescue. It's a great book. You can tell that you actually wrote it. It's plain language. It's not lawyer language. And mm -hmm, hopefully people mm -hmm. will read it will understand it. All I'm saying in this book is we have to stop looking backwards. And that's the point of the book. That's the message of the book. The whole center part of the book is about all these conspiracy theories. QAnon mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Pizza Game. All right, stop a second. Most Republicans don't know what the hell QAnon is. I don't know what the hell QAnon is. All I do is keep hearing about the pizza, this, that, uh, who, that. Nobody knows what that is. He, he grabs these fringe things off the Internet or somebody said something or other, and then he projects it onto the Republican Party. In other words, he creates a foil. And Chris Christie to the rescue. Go ahead. Birtherism and the election stuff. There's no truth to any of this stuff. And that's what the book tries to start to do. Put the past behind us. We need to get back to thinking about how you win. Stop Republican on... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't Donald Trump win in 2016? And didn't he get over 74 million votes in his run in 2020? And didn't Christie get blown out like the first candidate running in the Republican primary in New Hampshire? He saved all his resources and all his campaigning for New Hampshire. And I think he got like three rabbits to vote for him. But that's about it. Go ahead. If we want to be a winning party again, we got to look forwards and go after Joe Biden. Now, not all the interviews went so well. You may have caught his appearance on Deadline White House with my colleague, Nicole Wallace. First of all, if you're going on with Deadline with Nicole Wallace, who has about as many viewers as Christie has sold books, as you'll see in a minute, you're a complete fraud and phony. She is a disaster. She is a Republican. She used to work for McCain. She sabotaged Sarah Palin. She's got an IQ of a, uh, of a uh, turtle, and that's about it. Although I like turtles. Go. Um, it's about conspiracies and lies. And you really don't take on Fox News. Why not? Look, because the book seen was... The Tucker Carlson no, because, because the book... No, I, I don't watch it. But the book... Are you aware of what he does? Not really. I don't pay a lot of attention it's, to it. It's a book but, but, with but, truth but, tonight. Now, see what I mean? What a gutless wonder? What he should say is conspiracies. Tucker Carlson, you and your network spent three years on Russia collusion. That's a good... Doesn't he know how to push back? He doesn't want to push back. And Fox News, he can't defend Fox News. He goes on Fox News, certainly not on my show. We try and keep it substantive. Go ahead. Conspiracy theorists right. on the cover. Right. And you and, attack and, CNN and, and the New York Times and MSNBC and not but, Fox. But, but excuse me, I don't attack them as conspiracy theorists or truth deniers. 
I talk about bias. It is bias more dangerous bias. to the country and than conspiracy theorists? No, but that's the third section of the book. I don't I think it's an intellectually honest case to make against conspiracy theories without taking on Fox News. Well, I could, listen, then you can write that in your book. Well, I'm not trying to rescue the Republican Party. That's what happens when two low IQ, nobody knows, are debating each other. Did you learn anything from that? No. She hates Fox News. She hates the Republican Party, although that's how she makes her money. And there's a lot of things you can say to Nicole Wallace. You sold out. You're a fraud. You undermined Sarah Palin when you're getting paid to assist her. Uh, your obsession with Fox News is really kind of unhinged. Uh, conspiracy theories on Fox News? No. We're at Conspiracy Central right here at your desk. Russia collusion, Russia collusion, Russia collusion. Will you apologize to the American people? No. So why doesn't Christie say these things? Because he doesn't want to. He wants to be loved by the media. And what Christie doesn't understand is he'll never be loved by the media. Go. The press is good press, and Chris Christie was getting all of it. The problem for Christie is that no matter how many times he repeats the message of his book on air, his argument for a, I don't even know what you call it, let's say... Uh, not explicitly authoritarian, anti-democratic version of republicanism. Wow. What a news network this is, MSLSD. And where did this freak come from? Who the hell is this guy? I don't even know. What do they call him? Chris Hayes. Oh, this is Chris Hayes? Honestly, I don't want Chris Hayes. Wow. Another no ratings nobody. Where did they drag him in from? Do you know? What's his background? Well, it must be very, very extensive. Like Rachel Maddow's. Maybe Al Sharpton's. I don't know. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.